What is going on, Governors? Chisco here, and today, ooh, we got a lot of keys to open. I mean, a lot of keys to open. We got artifact keys. We got gold keys. We have the Forge of Light event. And then we smack down the Elite Thunder Rock. At least I hope we do. We're looking to get that server first, man. And I'm pretty freaking hyped. So if you're hyped for this evening's live stream, do me a huge favor, throw a like on the stream and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your ongoing support. I appreciate you. How's everybody doing today? Big shout out to the members and moderators in the chat. Kang the Titan, Salty Cornflakes, The Real Kenobi, Sniper Tom, Saiyan M, What's Good, Quizja, Selena, How's It Going, Mini Project, Inferno, 54100, Omega Red, What's good, Mr. Troll Divided? And Justin? Hey, thanks for the 20 gifted? Dude. Let's go. Justin coming in hot with the 20 gifted. Yo, hope you're doing well, dude. Let's get that hype for Justin. Hey, you know, it ain't too late if you want to start playing Call of Dragons. I'm just saying, brother. But I get that you're a busy dude, so... No worries either way, no pressure. Just saying, if you want a spot, you just let us know. Um, you know, let me jump in game. Let's jump in game. So... Things are interesting. Um, there was a huge, huge scandal around being able to get tons of packs at a price that's just very unreasonable. Um, and now the context has really changed. I mean, we were fighting literally like 10 more T5s than we should have been. Literally, there were 10 players who had T5 that we were fighting that got banned. Uh, dude, Justin, you're not too far behind. You're not too far behind. Bro, you're not too far. If you're spending, you're gonna catch up just fine, dude. You're We're only like two weeks into the server, you know? We're only like two weeks in, so your hero levels will be a little behind. But, but by the time we get a month in, you won't even know the difference. You know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, they, they, there were 10 more T5s than, than there should have been. And just think about it. If there was even one T5 player within 10 days of a server's life, you'd be like, wow, that's incredible. And we're talking about 10 that were cheating. GG. So anyways, the fight's off for now. This zone is basically called. The opposing side has Daral on. And we agreed before the fighting started not to push into each other's starting zones. So um, they're not pushing into our starting zone. And we had promised we wouldn't push into their starting zone. So we, we basically have stopped fighting with them. And everybody's figuring out what to do going into zone two which opens in i don't know like a week or so um last i heard it was 65 players that were banned but like if you think about it one t5 player can negate like 10 t4 players so fa did not get banned that is correct Technically, Fa is a part of the reason that they figured out, I think, this whole thing was going on. I could be wrong. I don't know. But Fa is not banned. He's literally, I don't know. Yeah, he's right here. So I'm not aware of any players in our alliance getting banned. 
Oh my God, those gifted memberships are still rolling in. Those alerts, that's crazy, man. Congratulations to the 20 folks that got gifted. Um, Alpha Q24 says that's good. It is good that we didn't have anybody get banned, but also, bruh, I mean, it makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference to be fighting against 10 more T5 players than you're supposed to be. And it's not just like 10 players with T5. It's like 10 players who max everything. It's just, it was dumb. It was really dumb. Um, but all that's solved now. So we can do fun things like opening keys. Um, but for the person who had asked, like, how's the fighting going? I mean, that's all basically wrapped up at this point. It's going to be interesting to see how different it is or isn't. I mean, we'll find out now that the T5 calculus is uh, solved, hopefully. Let's get a gatherer out. Always be gathering. Pro tip. So, I have 45 artifact keys. 1960 got no match found. GG, man. I knew they'd get no match found. Did they really, though? 109 gold keys. And we have over 100 of the keys for the event. We have over 100 of those keys, 105 to be exact, for this Forge of Light. So where do you want to start, chat? The thing we'll be doing together later today is the Elite Thunder Rock raid. Elite Thunder Rock will be over here. 220 UTC. We have an hour and 22 minutes. Plenty of time to open a few keys. Chat wants to... Yeah, well, Quang USD? Absolutely banned, bro. Absolutely banned. Absolutely banned. Stole Mightiest Governor by cheating and is now banned. Um... Gold keys are the appetizer. All right, chat. Let's open up some gold keys. Here we go, baby. 100 gold keys. Let's rip them open. And then if we want, we could do the leftover nine. Here we go. 100 gold keys. Let's go. Legendary off the rip. Oh, Velen. Let's freaking go. That's a great start, baby. That's a great start. Love to see Velen on the first pull. Next pull, legendary. Let's go. Okay, Nika, she's fine. She's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'll take that. Very happy. Also, Atheist, really good. Okay, smash that button. Let's go. Come on. Legendary again? Chat, you are good luck. Oh my god. 10 more Nika. Chat, you are good luck. Let's freaking go. Yo. Okay, again, baby. Ten more Nika. Th these draws are absolutely cracked. We're four for four. Chat, we're four for four. Okay, five for five. Hello. Wow. Five for five. Streamer luck for sure. Y'all seen me open gold keys in Rise of Kingdoms, and it never works out like this. Yo, Nico and Nika. Okay, I, okay. Okay. Oh, man, I was really... I mean, six for six would have been nutty, right? Like, there was no shot we were going to get that, right? So here we are. Ten of pan. Hey, I'll take it. Come on, babe. Let's go. Hey. All right, all right, all right. Th this pull is looking far more pedestrian. Krieg. Chilling in the house here. Come on. Come on. Nothing. Nothing. Gwanwin. 
all win. Fine, fine heroes. Dude, the luck streak is broken. Atheus is a great pickup, though. Atheus is a really great pickup. We take those W's. And legendary, let's go. Ooh, have a Nika Nico combo. Okay. Okay, Nika Nico, let's go. And Pam. Great pull. Great pull. Um, it's not gonna let me 10 pull. It's not gonna let me gem the last key. All right, well, 100, 100 keys, baby. Those are some good pulls. Those are some really great pulls. If we make my way to here, oh, let's go. Skill on Velen. Bro, let's go. Um, where do I want it? Bitter cold. Hero unit skill crit rate boost or and magic defense. Alternatively, chance to inflict magic defense break and freeze on the target. Oof. Baby. All right. That's what we got. Magic defense reduction and a march speed reduction onto the enemy. Let's go. All right. Who else? Oh my god. Who else has skills? Bro, everybody's got skills and talents. Oh my goodness. So good. Pan. We want it to land on your damn gathering skill already. Holy cow. Jeez. Come on! I am getting literally every skill except her gathering skill. Crazy. Um, My opinion on Garwood, he's fine. But Garwood is really more... Of like a tanky, supportive hero. Um, We're happy with anything except engineering. Okay, chat. Anything except engineering. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Marksman unit physical attack. Marksman unit defense. Let's go. That's a win. We take those Ws. Skill on Indus. I actually got this from the Dragon Trail. We're looking for the second skill. I just want the gathering speed, man. I, I, I just want gathering speed, please. Let's go. Let's go. Garwood, Bakar, uh, and up. That's not a very good combo. Bakar is all about enhancing your damage dealt, and that is not what Garwood's about. All right, what else can I do? Sheesh. Um, how about skills on Nika? Yes, please. Yo, I got so much Nika just now. Dude, let's go. Now, at this point, I really want to unlock all of her skills, which I cannot do yet. So I won't apply any more points until I have every skill unlocked. Engineering is fire. Are you sure? Because I don't think so. Okay, we unlock more skills. I don't really care about peacekeeping. I want to get all her skills unlocked here. It's correct. The secondary commander talents do not matter. It is only the skills that matter. Okay. Very good. My poor Emrys, man. I am getting, like, no skills on Emrys. Emrys, no skills confirmed. Um, and boom. Boom. Skill on Krieg is a win. Atheus? Uh, I actually need to star him up. Let's go. Check my DMs real quick. New skill unlocked because I crit. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Okay. And new skill on Alistair. I mean, I'll take it. Dude, I cannot believe how many skills I just landed. Wow. Oh, Gwanwin, I don't want to apply until she's got more stars, though. All right. Well, that was cool. That was great. Good upgrades. Chat, we're off to a really good start. Y'all are good luck tonight. Y'all, oh, there's the extra gold key we needed, chat. Let's go. 10 spots. It's legendary. Okay. 
Velen! Love to see it. Love to freaking see it, man. Chat, you are my lucky charm for sure. This is why I save for streams. This is why I save for streams. Y'all are good luck. Granted, I've had plenty of bad luck streams, but y'all tonight are the good luck is what I'm trying to say. We open these keys. Nothing too crazy here. They're silver keys. You open them. I mean, whatever. We did fight in this game, yeah. But we were fighting with our forces split, trying to battle against two whale alliances. And there were, as I'm told, anyways, 10 more tier fives than there should have been among the ranks of the teams that we were fighting. Which is insane because when you think about it, like how many T5s are there 10 days into a server? Is there even one typically? And you're telling me there were 10 that should not have existed? Bro. I'm sorry, but that's just really dumb. So anyways. Quite a difference maker. Let me tell ya. Um, let's just gather right over here real quick. What do you think of Hosk and Nika as a pairing? I'd do Nika primary, Hosk secondary. I think you could do it. Ooh, goldies. So many goldies. Thank you, Drax. Thank you, Chadsky. Thank you, Drax. Thank you, MP, for the goldies. That is the actual Mad Phantom chat. Bro, let's go. Mithurian? Hey, cheers, dude. Thank you for the... Oh, my God. Evo Wukong, thank you for the goldies. Evo, thank you for the goldies. There's the MP goldies, big poggers. Mathurian, thank you for the goldies. Let's go. Dude, this alliance is so cracked. It's nuts, man. All right. Did, did, I, did I get 10 golds just from that? I got four. All right, all right, all right. And they say Call of Dragons is free to play friendly. Well, I mean, compared to Rise of Kingdoms, it is. Um, okay. Tavern. A warm-up for the draws here, chat. Let's do 10. 10. No, no, no. We'll do 40. We'll do 40 artifact keys. Universal artifact compendium. Here we go. Legendary? Oh, okay. Two epics. Tear of Arben. GG. Three epics? Bro. I do have a Tear of Arben. I can skill this up. We'll hold on to it for now. Crazy. All right, let's open up more keys. Okay, Potion of Vigor is good. Is this max skill? It is now. Big Poggers, all right. Big Poggers. 10 spots. Let's go. Giant's Bone. V5-Fo-Fum. Very funny developers here. Legendary! <laughs> Let's go! Chat. I am on fire tonight. I am on fire tonight. Yo, drop some hype in the chat, okay? Drop some hype in the chat. Okay, also an epic. Here it is. Here it is. Ha ha ha, chee chee, Breath of the Forest. What a load of dog doo doo. Well, I mean, it is a legendary though, so. It is. It's technically a legendary. All right. That is what it is. I'll take it. Cool. Garrison artifact. Bro, I am trying to get out of being a rally lead and garrison captain. I don't want it. I don't want that job anymore, man. And now I get the garrison artifact. Yeah, the devs are laughing at me. GG. 
Okay. Well, chat, well. You know, the funny thing is we haven't even gotten to the main event. Technically, it's the Thunder Rock, but uh, Forge of Light Keys. Here we go. Are you ready for some Forge of Light Keys? You're our top garrison lead? Nah, bro, nah. I ain't about that life. Here we go. Come on. Epic. GG. Destiny wants you to be a garrison captain. Destiny is knocking on my door, you say. Is 50k worth spending on the first wheel draw? Um, I mean, I think Esong is worth. I wouldn't spend a ton on Richard the First. Here we go! Legendary! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay! Okay? Dark Knight, A. Yo, welcome to the Elite Guard, bro. Let's get those hype emojis for Dark Knight. We're on a freaking roll, man. The gold keys are on fire. Come on. Come on. I actually have already maxed this thing, and it, I did that yesterday. It's dope. It's dope. Yeah, Lily Valen is really good. Streamer luck confirmed. Okay. Oh. Stream luck. Sort of confirmed. Ugh. Springbird Feather is like, I mean, okay. Okay. Sure. Frostwing is okay. We take we take the Springbird Feather. Would Thea Garwood be good? Uh I guess it'd be okay. It'd be very tanky. We pull again. And we just get an epic. The giant's bone. Okay, chat, we pull again. Epic again. How many epics? Homecoming Blossom, just one. All right, we're up to 30 pulls. No legendary. 30 pulls, no legendary. All right. We draw again. 40 pulls, no legendary. Epic is Green Finger Sickle. We go to 50 pulls. No legendary. All right, Chad, our luck was front loaded. Nika Bakar, uh, it's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Come on. Epic. GG. We're on our way to the pity draw here, I think. Twenty more pulls. There it is. The legendaries in the mix, chat. One of these is the legendary. Okay. Oh my god, bruh. Springbird feather again. GG. Not what I'm here for. Oh, I just opened one. Hello. And it's an epic. Okay. Fat finger. Let's open ten. Hello. Okay. Potion of Vigor. Not quite it, chat. We draw we draw one at a time. Just drain the keys. Come on. Okay. Keys drained. Alright. I mean, hey. Immortal treasure. Of course. Now I have your luck. I need to buy this, and then we'll open some more artifact keys. Okay, chat? Plus, we can do some exchanges at the Goblin Market here. I mean, I got 10 more artifact keys just chilling over here that I could, could do, maybe? Right? Right? We scrap 30 of these. Get rid of 20 of these. Dude, I don't know what is with the way you enter numbers in here. Um, we get rid of 20 of these, or, I don't know, 15 of these, it doesn't really matter. Confirm. It's these blue guys, we gotta get rid of these. Yeah, we get rid of 15 of these, now, now we're getting some currency. 
All right. You do need some amount of these in order to power up an artifact. So I don't know that I should get rid of all of them. Um, and you also need some of these to power stuff up too. So I'm not trying to get rid of everything I have. But I can pick up five keys now. I mean, that ain't bad. We take the keys. Okay. Let me go make this purchase real quick. Okay, chat? Let's go buy this thing and then open more keys. This is fun. <laughs> this is this is fun. All right. Open up my iPad here, make the purchase. All right. Put my, put my face in front of this thing. Here we go. Open up the game. Dark Knight, welcome to the Honor Guard. Appreciate you. We pay with my face. Gacha Addict confirmed. I'm not addicted, you're addicted. What are you talking about? Okay, great. Reopen the game on the PC. And we jump back in game on the stream in just a second. There we go. Almost 200,000 subs. Chat, it's crazy. Let's open up some more keys. This is normal. Oh, exactly 20 draws. What's not to love, chat? What's not to love? More pulls. Green finger sickle again? That's crazy, bro. All right. I mean, I'm drained, chat. That's everything I got on keys, all right? We did all the keys, baby. Okay, I got two more keys. I got two more keys. Yeah, I'm not addicted. You're addicted. Epic. Okay. All right. Good job, team. Good job. We got to look at my artifact situation here. I mean, I could upgrade Tier of Arbin, which I might do. I could also upgrade Springbird Feather, which I might do. I mean, if you wanted to do some crazy March Speed hijinks attack, okay, this thing when it's maxed gives you 48% March Speed for your March and 10 nearby Marches get 32% March Speed. Wow crazy yes yeah, spring of silence is good if you um have a really tanky infantry march and you want to get some damage out of it you know crazy Woo. love it all right well progress is progress what rank am i in this server bro it's insane i'm 41st i have spent like seven thousand I think of $7,000. Maybe it's $6,500. Maybe it's like $6,500. And I'm 41st in the server. I never really watched Dragon Ball. Uh, Don't know when Madeline's going to show up. Hard to say. Your wallet weeps. So does mine. Time on the gathering. Eight minutes, and then the gatherer returns. And then we go over here, and we do the old Thunder Rock. And it's almost exactly an hour from now, so that's kind of cool. So let's just plug that into the timer. We get that on the screen. Okay. Pretty close. It's close enough. It's good enough. All right. Sick. Okay. Feel good about that. I got a bunch of upgrades to do still. I'm on my way to upgrading my College of Order to 25. Once I do that, I'll be in a pretty good spot. I do have some speed ups here to work with. And by some, I mean... 1,500 one-hour speed-ups ain't bad. But they just disappear 
so fast on these buildings over here. I got four of them to do still. Crazy. Are there a lot of features you don't like about this game? No. Now, maybe I'm just in the early game and I haven't experienced stuff I won't like, you know? But there's a lot of stuff I like. Um, I like, for example, that you can recycle stuff. Unlike in Rise of Kingdoms, extra sculptures of a commander are nearly worthless. But I can recycle all these. Okay. And after recycling them, I can then go over here and buy stuff I actually want. Right? Like four gold keys. Hello? That's insane. And once I start maxing epics, I mean, I'm going to be getting gold keys every week, man. Easy. Easy gold keys. Skill lock? I mean, I guess skill lock would be nice. These artifacts, I'm just really hesitant to drain myself completely because you need them to star up other things. These premium items, what do they give? One a pop? GG. GG. How much does it take to get one of these? 800? Bro. Okay. Okay. It's going to take a while. Holy moly, rip credit card? Yeah, super rip on the credit card. But you know, I'm a content creator, so here I am entertaining you with my wailing and antics. Low spender on rock? Should I start on COD? Is what's your opinion? I mean, I think, you know, if you're thinking about Call of Dragons, just uh, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you watch the combat and see if you like it. Um, and if you think it's for you, which I'm enjoying so far, then you could consider making a switch. For now, we just have a little bit of time. Thankfully, the fat runes are starting to drop, man. 10% building speed is looking real nice. Ooh. I don't use an infantry pairing. Technically, when I climbed in um, the dragon trail, I did though. I used Garwood with Thea to climb in the dragon trail. Garwood Thea is how I climbed Dragon Trail. Now, this is interesting. When your Legion enters battle, you increase your defense. Or when your Legion's hit with a normal attack, they have a chance of gaining tough, reducing skill damage taken. That's the play. That's the ticket on the old Garwood. I don't even know what I'm using him for yet, but that's definitely the play. I don't have very many merits. Truth be told... In terms of merits, where am I at? 78,000? I mean, it ain't much. Am I an infantry specialist here? No. Um, I have a mage march that is Lilia Velen. And I have a marksman march. And my marksman is Kanara, and I pair with Hosk. My flying unit with Thea and Atheus is always the first to die. What am I doing wrong? Um, well, are you charging in with them? The whole point of a Thea Atheus march is to be really sneaky with how you maneuver. That's the key, to be really sneaky. The other thing is you better make sure that your flying unit does magic damage because Atheus is dependent on that. So just make sure. Get some stuff to drink here. What does Hosk give to her? Hosk buffs and Hosk brings troop capacity. Do you have cords for the epic rune? Yeah, so the higher quality runes are at the higher level holy sites. So if you wanted that rune, you go to the Thunder Rock in the bottom right. Coordinates are on the screen, though. They're always up top over here. 712, 728. 
Favorite troop type so far would be mages. I mean, you get to sit at range and just do work, which is great, man. Love it. It's not what I would play in an RPG, but this is not an, R an RPG. This plays more like a mo um, I would say more like a MOBA. VIP shop. I already bought a lot of stuff. Suppose I could buy these five minute speed ups. But I already bought a lot of the shop. It's possible I need more resources. We'll see. Maybe I should be buying those. Skippy FIFA. Hey, welcome to the Elite Guard. Yo, let's get those hype emojis for Skippy. Welcome, dude. Welcome. Yeah, things are going all right, man. Things are good here. Your Walders 5522 Velen 3-1. When will be uh when will Velen be better than Waldir? Um, you know, I would say an expertise Waldir is awfully close to a 5511 Velen. But 5511 Valen is certainly where I would be looking to switch to the Valen. It's possible that just after maxing the first skill, you'll be better off with the Valen you have than the unexpertised Waldir. Could I see your Kanara talents? Yeah, I have a dedicated video about this. Technically, I think these talents are pretty bad for behemoths, but... I have no clue why you're saying you can't type Dalai Lama in the chat. When is the next fight? I think it's in about a week. In about a week, we're going to battle past two. So that's going to be kind of exciting. I don't know what my goal is. I don't know if my goal is to get to T5. If my goal is to get another march up and running... I don't know, man. I do know that I should march down here and just be ready. So we may as well go here. In fact, we may as well just get this rune. Let's just get this rune real quick. 124 and a half thousand troops. Let's go. Want to know a secret? Peacekeeper, talents, and artifacts work in the Dragon Trail and on behemoths. Very interesting. Olay. Hey, how's it going, dude? Ads are so cringe. Dude, the ads are super cringe. The ads are, are a bit of a yikes. Thunder Rock, baby. This is what we're going to be doing. The elite raid on the Thunder Rock. By the way, I was fifth for the, the DPS race in the first run at this. The ads are far better than Rock. You've yet to get a PvP artifact. Yeah, so I have two. Technically, we'll qualify the Infernal Flame as a PvP artifact, although... I don't know. Wh where's my luck counter on this bad boy now? How many of that did I get? I got a lot of it, man. Um, Details? Skills. I guess I just got one. Huh. For some reason in my mind, I got more. So I got one extra Springbird Feather. And I got one base. So I guess two total. Oh, and I'm two out of two on the pity counter now. So chat, when I draw again, it's guaranteed to be the legendary I want now. We're two out of two on the pity counter. It's guaranteed. Oh, it's just tempting to start gemming. Not gonna lie. But that comes tomorrow, probably. Tomorrow, I just start gemming. Right? 
I don't know. How much do I want that? Gem moment? Spend gems? You don't have a single legendary? Oh, yeah. My artifacts are, in that case, pretty good. But compared to some of the proper whales on this server, as if somehow $7,000 is not proper whaling. Like, I got nothing compared to them. But I did get lucky on the Shadow Blades. Um, and, you know, Infernal Flame's good. Cavalry? I mean, it's Bakshi Emrus. Right? Bakshi Emrus. And another option is, of course, Emrus with Alistair. Or Emrus with Hosk is also pretty legit. There's a lot of good options here. Everyone knows the real whaling starts. I mean, once you're $7,000 in, what's being $15,000 in? I mean, at that point, you may as well go for the T5, right? Um, joking aside, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. And you should consider your financial priorities, like... Saving for retirement, having an emergency fund, prioritizing your family, you know, all that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If I spent gems on it, um, I don't know how many pulls I would have to do, but when I pull a legendary, it is going to be the legendary I want, which is the Infernal Flame. It, it is guaranteed to be Infernal Flame now. I do not have a flying commander lined up to use with Celestials, but my low key on the Sly project is still Thea. So Thea Atheist is gonna be that like slow grind to have a fly march or a flying march. Stop it, Abda. The best financial advice just has ever given me, by the way, not financial advice, not a financial advisor is to sell my house and car for T5s, GG. Yeah, man. Call of Dragons is your priority, huh? Are flying and ranged attacks the same? No. I mean, there are different ideas. You have units that can literally fly and can go over terrain that other units cannot. I am not a rally or garrison currently. I hope and aspire to not be a rally or garrison in this game. What talents do I have on Nico? Uh, just some experimental stuff. Just kind of still figuring it out. Cod greater than financial wellness? I disagree. Strongly disagree. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to be spending a lot of gems on the research in here, man. That's likely to be what happens. Meanwhile, I'm walking to pick up this rune. What do we have here? I guess for the fight, I'll grab health. Obviously. In the meantime, I guess I can take building speed. Although, am I actually going to do anything with that? Timer is for when the elite raid starts. Take ten steps back. Till you get to where you're going. Just research where you're going. Pretty hyped. Did we end the war with an L? Kind of. I mean, I think we ended the war with an asterisk. I mean, we were fighting 10 players that had T5s that got banned. I want you to just think about that. I was mentioning this earlier in the stream. But, like, fighting one player that has T5 at this stage of the server's development is insane. But 10 players that have T5 that have gone over the top and maxed all the commanders and all the artifacts. I mean, bro, it ain't fair. It, it ain't fair. So not only did that force us to split our forces into two different zones, okay? But also, that's just dumb. So... 
I'm sure people can understand why that is just a very difficult situation. Whereas we had zero people get banned for the cheat. So. Yeah, a lot of people got banned. I last saw it was 65 people that got banned. Now, if I did grab this building speed rune, I mean, I could speed some stuff up just for jollies. I don't know why I would, but I could. Just to uh, be entertaining, I suppose. So you cheated but didn't get caught? I don't know what mate gave you that impression. I have absolutely no clue what you're talking about. They do have more than 10 tier 5 players. They had some legit tier 5 players. I think the number I had heard was that they had 27 combined across all the enemy alliances we were fighting before the ban and then after the ban they had 17 and and that is just such a world of difference man i'm sorry i don't know how to tell i mean i mean that's just insane talents on lilia um check out my video about that cheated how oh uh, so i made a dedicated video about this but they were using some sort of stolen credit card scammer situation to get packs for really cheap. That's my guess. I don't actually know the full details. It was some sort of payment loophole. My understanding is that you pay a third party like 10% of the price or less and they give you an unbelievable amount of stuff. Wait, unnamed soldier. Did you not hear about this, brother? So basically, there were these sellers advertising all over Facebook. That's how some of our players figured out it was happening. The sellers were literally advertising all over Facebook. And so... Hey, Chadsky, thanks for the five gifted, dude. So for like 400 bucks, they would max purchase a bundle, like all the bundles for you and give you 2 million gems or something stupid. Literally like for 400 bucks, they would max all the bundles, get you 2 million gems. It was really dumb. And the theory is that they're using stolen credit cards, which I assume is how they sort of figure out that this was happening. Because, like, obviously you see a player load up and it's like, wow, they really, you know, bought a lot of stuff. But if they're buying from, like, a zillion different credit cards with locations all around the world, I mean, like, obviously it's clear what's going on here, right? So, yeah, ton of stolen credit cards is my guess. Um, but literally, like, again, there were 10 of these players that got banned that we were fighting against. You take just two or three of those players, and they would literally steamroll entire alliances. Like, like that's what was happening. in On stream, it, like, they would steamroll multiple alliances. So, it's just dumb. So, it's hard to say what's going to happen in other fights. I think that the tone of those fights will be very different, but maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. I just remember, though, there was one dude who couldn't stop, like, kind of bragging and rubbing it in my face that we had lost. And he's like, oh, you assembled the dream team and you're losing. I was like, actually, those MFs are cheating, bitch. Like, damn. People were mad. People were mad. Ah, oh, but that one guy trying to rub it in my face was being such a jackass. Such a jackass about it. And it's like, now we know they're cheating, and it's not like a... It, it's not like a theory, it's like just, it's straight facts, man. The dream team. So, um, Unnamed Soldier, if, if you haven't seen this roster... If you haven't seen this roster... We have Fuh... 
We have uh, MP. Where's MP? Mad Phantoms in here. Okay. We have a lot of players that have T5. Like a shocking number of people have unlocked T5 already. Chadsky's in here. Let's go, Chadsky. Big poggers. It sounds like maybe Justin's considering rejoining. He got busy with work at the start of the server opening. Yeah, Emrys all stairs good. Mad Max? This dude's crazy, man. He's got T5. Fat Quail has T5. This dude, Leon, is buying out the shop every day. I swear, he's gonna have T5 pretty soon. Has to be. When is the Pass 2 opening? Pass 2 opens, uh, I want to say in like a week or so. And that's where we get our next fight. Let's see. Uh, Augerstone, that's what I'm looking for. Chronicles. New Dawn. Alliance power rankings become available. Then Darkling Forts level 3. Then the Hydras. And then Pass 2s. So we're close. I'd say we're probably a week away. It's hard to know because some Chronicles complete instantly and others run down the timer even if you finish them. So we have a little bit of time. How important is Esong expertise? Bro, it's so good. Do you think it's worth changing civilizations? It depends on what you're about to do. Check out my dedicated videos about switching civs and civilizations, and that'll give you a very detailed answer. So, because I have a 10% rune, I mean, like, there's no event, but I could speed some stuff up. I don't know. Should I? Mad Max? No, dude, he's crazy. Mad Max is crazy, man. I mean, I could just use some speed ups here. There's no event though. That's the problem. But I have a 10% rune. And the 10% rune is more important, right? Right? Isn't that what really matters? Still seven days on this bad boy. Gem the chest? Oh, God. Let's upgrade the night camp. We gotta get a master's blueprint. Holy moly! 30 days before helps? What is this crap? That's with the building speed? 30 days for the night camp before helps? Holy. Are you for real right now? What happened? We, are we missing our Build-A-Bear? Where's our Build-A-Bear? That's the research bear. Did we lose our, our Build-A-Bear or something? Build-A-Bear. Dude, 5%. We got the Build-A-Bear. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Part of my language. Woo! I'm talking like I'm on Discord voice. That's how I normally talk. I usually button up pretty good for stream. Peach all day, every day. Super Mario 2. Mario, Luigi, Peach, or Toad? Um, Might go with Luigi. All right, well, I guess I'm doing it. Got to do it at some point. I got 10% rune here. It's a lot of resources, too. Sheesh. Holy cow. Just ripping through the RSS. Oh, man. Dude, how is this so expensive? All right, night camp upgrade. Sheesh. 
There it is. Holy. How is that so expensive? RSS rip. Man, that's no joke. Hello from the future. It's 5 a.m. where you are. Cheers, dude. Helps are coming in. Love to see it. And then you just, we just speed this thing up. Three more helps. Oh, okay. They're in. Helps are in. GG. GG. 21 days. Bit of a yikes. Bit of a yikes. That's going to make the eight hour speeds pop. Oh, God. The three hour speeds pop. Man, oh my god, 266 hours. Yikes. Yikes. All right, there it is. One more building closer to T5's chat. We're one step closer. Oh, ooh, Goblin Market arrived. That's exciting. Love to see it. What do I want to do here? How long does that take? 15 hours? Great. I just want something that's going to run for a while. All right. Oh, the goblin market went away. GG. GG. Should have waited maybe a minute to try to get another goblin market pop, but whatever. Uh, and now I need to do the watchtower. And to do this, I gotta gem this. Chat, are you ready for this? You ready for this, chat? This is a bit of a yikes. Uh, 20,000 plus gems on arrows real quick. No big deal. Flying through the gems. All right, we just let that run for a while. Farm them. The thing is that if you're hurrying toward T5, you can't farm them. But I am gonna have to pick up a lot more bundles if I'm actually gonna get to T5, or I'm gonna have to start spending a lot of gems. Either solution will work. But now I'm done building stuff for the day, I think. That was, that was some entertaining building, GG. One step closer, chat. One step closer. Now we go for the hit point rune. VIP. Yeah, I need VIP 16 already, chat. <laughs> um, if I had realized I was going to spend as much as I have on, uh, on the game, I probably should not have put so much into VIP with gems. But the situation and context changed, and now I have put a lot into bundles more than I thought so here we are you had to choose between rock and cod what would I pick oh man uh, maybe I should not say what I'll simply say is this what I'll simply say is that right now I'm having a lot of fun in call of dragons let me let me explain you don't have to worry about managing power for Imperium. You don't have to delete stupid siege units all the time to manage power for matchmaking. There is no matchmaking, so you can't miss out on a season. You can actually recycle things for value instead of them just being waste and you get punished once you max something. Whales can't just run it down like idiots over and over. The game has more strategy. The game is more free-to-play play, free play friendly. Instead of armaments, you have artifacts. I mean, like... I don't know, man. This game's pretty good.
you quit rock for cod how strong is your current alliance 1.63 billion power yeah guys for perspective we're 1.6 billion power in like two weeks that's insane it's insane let me get in discord voice real quick I think I'm supposed to be listening to instructions. All right. Now I'm in voice. Consider this. Lord's Mobile is still more expensive than these combined. Well, and there's a reason I'm not playing Lord's Mobile GG. Um, yeah, that's crazy. So right now we have a 27 minute timer. At the end of the 27 minute timer, an officer can go in and call the elite raid. Right. Yeah. So, so an officer should have like the screen open, right? Last time dad bod did this, he had two screens open and he had one screen where he was ready to just push the button to start the encounter. And the other screen was watching to see when the countdown hit zero. Yeah, there you go. That's the play. So in 27 minutes, this begins. So maybe I should read through some of these skills for you, chat, because it's a little crazy. The Thunder Rock deals magic skill damage to all enemies in a forward arc. And after a short charge up, the Thunder Rock, uh, Rock unleashes powerful lightning magic, dealing magic skill damage to all enemy legions in its path. So you want to get out of the way of the lightning ball. The Thunder Rock casts Predator Spirit upon being summoned, increasing its attack by 20% and increasing its surrounding friendly legions march speed by 10%, lasting 30 seconds. Weird. I think these are just the special elite skills. I guess we'll see. This is going to get interesting. Um, we don't know if we will beat the opposing alliances. Um, thankfully, we beat the boss the first time around, like two minutes ahead of DNS, who beat us last time because we were Bozos and Leroy Jenkins, the boss. So as long as we don't Leroy Jenkins and as long as we execute the actual strategy, we have a two minute head start. So um, we should be able to do pretty good on the Thunder Rock here. The opposing alliances in our server are pretty whaled up, man. Although some of them were cheaters. So those cheaters are now banned and it's going to be interesting to see how that changes things. Would Hosk is 5411 be better than Nico? No. No, 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 no. Probably your Nico is better, dude. Nico and Kanara together in that instance. But because my Hosk is expertise, I think it's better to use him. I mean, we got nice buffs over here, right? 20% attack, 30% hit points, 10% damage dealt. We make it so we get de uh, defense. No, no, no. Actually, a normal attack boost, which is good. And we get extra troop capacity, which is more damage. And after you get buffed, your normal crit rate is increased. And your counterattack crit rate is increased. So that's cool. The 
there's no alliance rankings yet. The, the chronicle for alliance ranking hasn't opened up. That chronicle opens here, New Dawn. So we're still in this chronicle, which lasts for another two days, eight hours. Wow. Um, but then we'll have this one. Your alliance must occupy eight behemoth layers, which I think we will. Then we have the level three forts. Then we have the Hydra. Then we have the next pass. So kind of exciting. Um, where is DNS? I think they're here. So they're at one and a half billion power. You actually can't see that. My head's in the way. GG. Um... I mean, if you're free to play in this game, the grind is still super real. Like, the grind is no less real. That That's the trade-off in these games. It's either time or money. But there's no AoE barb farming in this game. So, pardon me, that's like a way to save some time, I suppose. If that's a thing you were doing, which, yikes. Would you recommend the artifact event for a mid-spender? Um... I feel like just pushing to T5 is kind of really important right now. More important than opening some keys. Did you do a video on the best packs to buy? Uh, great news, I already did it. Video already exists. Ruz, what's up, dude? You gonna start playing Call of Dragons, bro? Ooh, Terry Foster. Thank you for the goldie. Oh, unnamed soldier says, Rez, if you join, I'll join. GG. Thank you, random alliance member, for the goldies. Uh, Rez said, deal? You guys gonna start playing Call of Dragons? You guys can just plug into our alliances. You don't have to do any leadership. You can just chill and have fun, man. Word Addy Chad says I'll sponsor your power up. GG. How important is it to keep the deputy a close level to the primary? It's not terribly important at all. So the deputy hero contributes half their legion capacity. So you get half the troop capacity contributed by a secondary hero. So yes, it matters. No, it's not as critical as your main hero, who your primary is giving you talents, and talents are very critical. Now, at some point, you know, look, if we look at talents on Hosk, he's got a talent. Increase your legion capacity by 300. So that they technically think one talent point is worth 300 legion capacity. So, um... You know, it's at some point the experience to level up a main hero, 328,000, compared to a secondary hero, 159,000. I mean, they start, it starts to be like, well, maybe you should level up the secondary. Scout for a war frenzy. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
Um, will one of my gatherers come home so I can do that? Yes. In six minutes, a gatherer comes home. I can scout, get war frenzy, and we'll be off to the races here. Is the Eternal Flame artifact any good? I'm enjoying it so far. I think it's, I think it's been treating me well. Do levels even matter? Seems like maxing troop capacity is what makes the heroes good. Well, yeah, so levels give troop capacity, so... Yes, you want to level up. Levels matter a lot. You can scout with marches out. Oh, yeah, true. What have I been playing where that's not true? I think it's Land of Empires where that is not a thing that you can do. GG. I can scout this dude. Shoes. But we got some time before I do that. Scout for the old war frenzy. My emergency fund is for rock emergencies, says Teddy Graham. Dude, that's just like real Teddy. This game reminds you a lot of Warpath. Yeah, I'm, I'm told the combat is very similar, actually. Oh yeah, runes in this game last for eight hours instead of the one or two hours in Rise of Kingdoms. That's a nice little change of pace. We're going for first place? Yeah, and we have 17 minutes until this begins, chat. Looks like Plato's here. That's cool. He's got his little mages. Pew pew. Don't worry, dude. I brought my archers. See? I, I switched it up. I brought the archers. Let's go. GG. Kanara is primary with Nico as. Okay, so if you use Nico Kanara, you want Nico primary. Because Nico does a defense reduction, I think, on the enemy. So you reduce the enemy's defense, and then you hit him with Kanara's skill, rather than the other way around. There's no special synergy there. Calves run faster than a ghost calf. I got some pretty decent streamer loot, yeah. I mean, I'm tempted to push the gem button on these artifact keys, I'm not gonna lie. I am live streaming. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like I need my gems to get to T5. Call me crazy. But I'm gonna buy the bundle tomorrow. Again, when it resets. That means I'll have spent $600 on Treasure Forge. That's pretty wild. And maybe out of that $600, I will get two levels on the Infernal Flame. Maybe three if I'm lucky. Hey, I did get a spring feather, and I have an extra one, so I can skill it up once. <laughs> so I am getting spring feathers. Dude, I got my first spring feather from a regular artifact key, not from the event keys. So, GG. Man, yeah, no spring feather is great. So happy I got it. I also got the garrison artifact. Not in love with that. 
Breath of the Forest? Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I'm DPS. I'm not a tank. You gonna mark me? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll move out so you can see me. Oh, dear God. All right. I won a leader spot. GG. Oh, I became a team leader, chat. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. <sighs> you, dude, you got to go with a march speed on your archers. That's the, the thing. You get, like every march speed talent, you got to snap that up, man. My archers are faster than my mages now. Because I have enough march speed. All right. Oh, mind the spam in the chat, please. The RPM rate for a 5k video is $50 in three days. Do I have a Nico talents guide? No, I got to work on it. Just can you hit my Emrest to send him home quickly? Um, I want to keep full troops here. I, I got to do max damage possible. Are free to play allowed in BDO with a little bit of questioning? Not right now. Um, I don't know what the long-term game plan is, but... Pretty much everyone in this alliance is spending like a non-trivial amount of money. And everybody's powering up. And that's also what the Alliance is doing on the opposing side. So, in many ways, we're matching what they're doing. There's no minimum power to join the family of alliances that we have, though. You could join a family alliance, and there are, like, a dozen of them. So I would recommend it. I would definitely recommend that. You have one T2 Cavalry. Oster, who, who are you? Is this you? Is this actually you? Oh, well, I mean, they did a dab. It's probably them. It's only one troop in there. That's not such a big deal. I lost one troop. All right, if we lose this by 0.0001%, we know what happened. It was because I because I, I did that. But now I have War Frenzy, and it didn't cost me mana. And it didn't cost me mana. Oh, you want a head count? That's fine. Because it, it'll kick you out. When it actually starts. You may need to have that marker in game. Because not everybody's going to be in voice. No, but I mean like the people who are not actually a part of the rating team might not be in voice.
Okay. As a free to play, what am I supposed to do with my Endes? For now, just gather with her. Eventually, you could use her in combat as a secondary. You'd use her as a secondary because you want her talented for gathering. There's only five gatherers, so you want your gatherers talented for gathering. Um, I think you might want Footmost to be the primary in Footmost E-Song. I was going to ask, what changes on Elite for this thing? Is it... Okay, chat, seven minutes. It's happening really soon. It's going down, chat. Oh, God, I hope we win. Yeah, maybe we should get a rundown top to bottom, just to remind everybody of all the mechanics here. Okay, chat. Yeah, we, let's 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 just, uh, just emphasize that one more time. So you'll see like a swirly lightningy thing around you, and within eight seconds of that happening, you're gonna explode with lightning. And if you're in the water, everybody dies. So when you have that swirly thing on you, or you see it around you, and you think maybe it's you, maybe it's not, get your ass to land, which is the metal. Because uh, if you don't, everybody dies. Yeah, you guys can't hear my voice chat. I suppose I could make it so you could hear my voice chat. I don't know. That's like a big, that's a big risk as a streamer. We got like 40 plus people in voice, you know? Thank you for the goldies. Terry, thank you for the goldies. Bona, thank you for the goldie. Yeah, I'm out. There's another gold diamond, though. Who's the other gold diamond?
All right, and confirming my job is to lead people to the mana stone, not the mana stone that you're going to with triangle. Okay. Okay. When when you enter, you're going right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go left. Okay. Bro, I hope we get this win, and I hope I don't F it up. <sighs> Happy birthday, Ultra Fire Gaming. Let's freaking go, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I had that happen. So, so, so you're gonna make a call for everybody to start DPS then, right? Like no one should attack until, yeah. So you make the call for D so tanks gonna do their thing, and then you'll call DPS to start. So nobody should hit the boss until does goes okay. DPS engage. Right, nobody should hit the boss until does says tanks engage. So does will say tanks engage, does will say tank and DPS engage, right? They'll call it. All right, who's the officer that's going to push the button to open the raid? Okay. Yeah, you go to Alliance, Behemoths, Elite Raids, and then uh, Raid, and then the Start button is what you'll push. You got it? You got 15 seconds. All right, I'm counting it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, everybody enter. Go to the sides. More people need to get in. We're 39. Save your artifact for when it falls down, I think, right?
It's in the flying phase. Get ready. Mana stones down. Mana stones. Mana stones. Get the mana stones. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we gotta move. Chess team. Move, 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 move. Chiss cool team top. Chiss cool team top. Somebody blew us all up. I don't it might I don't know who it was. It's pretty bad. We're Yeah, but I'm I went to 5% health. Everybody Chiss cool team left. Look out. Ah, uh, the people that are there got wrecked, dude. Oh, that's pretty bad. Let's wipe it up. Wipe it up. Wipe it up. We People are going to have to teleport over. Dude, I got a sad face. The sad face has to come home. I mean, that's like a... Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I know I got a long walk, and I bet a bunch of other people do, too. So we're going to have to teleport down here to get this done. Like, when your march gets home, you teleport down here. So if you have gatherers out, bring them home. Where is theirs? Yeah. Must be upper right. No? I don't see it there. Huh. Is it in Darlam? No, they definitely have it. I don't know why anyone thought that that was not the case. might blow up now. Oh. Oh, they got hit, but I don't think it matters. They they need someone to blow them up and then they lose.
You, you still, yeah, we still got to get it. So walk back. Well, I guess teleport down, then walk back, right? Because otherwise it's going to take forever. Yeah, I mean, like, all it takes is one person not paying attention to sort of wreck the whole group. That's definitely disappointing, Chad, not gonna lie. Yeah, like somebody blew up and that was that. Like I was at basically 5% after that happened. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm streaming it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I think more organization wouldn't hurt, I suppose. I, I was ours to lose too, which is why it really stings. We had like,
Um, we can enter and get our head count, right? There's no army expansions in this game, and there's no attack defense buffs either. I love it, man. All the annoying things are gone. Okay, chat, I'm going to close this out real quick. Because it, it's bugged out scouting me here, which I don't like. So let me fix this. Yeah, if you had a long march, you need to port. If you have a long march, you gotta port over, by the way. That way the whole group isn't waiting like 20 minutes for you. Are you are you playing this or no? Okay, yeah, it does can continue to lead. Dude, this one guy from the enemy alliance is being a jackass. Holy shit. No, I ported. I've been at the door for a while. Here, here I am. I'll go down so you can see me. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, does, you want me to do that? We can start it, and people just need to stand in the right spots. But not aggro the boss. We just can get a head count that way. At this point, there's no rush, so... Okay. Alright, I started it. So, you can enter, but be mindful not to aggro the boss. And if anybody is walking back, now is the time to speak up. Yeah, every everybody in, but do not aggro the boss.
Um, we're missing a couple people. Yeah. Yeah, you, just be sure you pour it down here. Bob again, preparations for the Thunder Rock. Join now. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's a ready check. Hopefully it doesn't start it. That's cool. Cool ready check. How do you ready check? You just hit the prepare button? Is that what does that? Huh. No, I think it's the same. All right, so who are we waiting for? Can can people jump, like, ch chime in if they're almost here? You just click on their march, it'll tell you the time. Yeah, every, everybody in if you're going to play it. Once we get to 40, we're going to start making calls to get going. We're at 35. Yeah, it takes long enough. You might be able to activate right away and then activate again when it's down, depending on your artifact. All right, we're at 38. We need two more. See if we can get it on this next try, chat.
Um, all right, so we just need two more people, and then we're cruising. All right, cool. All right, so after they get here, Duz is going to call tanks on, and then he's going to call DPS on. So don't DPS don't do anything until you're you're told to DPS. And then remember when we're going to that second phase, we're gonna spread out but run onto the land so we don't uh, get racked. And we'll see which two directions he looks, and then when we know which directions he's looking, we can he broadcasts. It is actually very easy. Like it's actually shockingly easy. Awesome. Somebody left. All right, don't don't leave. Okay, go middle. He's invulnerable. He's blowing up top. Okay, left. Shift school team left. Shift school team left. Does team... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Go middle. Go middle. Sorry, sorry. Go middle. Go middle. Go middle. Go middle. Sorry. Kind of a bad call on my part. All right, shift school team. We go top. Someone's got a circle. Someone's got a circle. Bro, saw you walk it in. It's kind of hard to see. You got to click the mana stone. There we go. Just go team middle, 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 middle. Just go team middle. Wait for the explosions. Okay, just go team left. Somebody, somebody's got an explosion. Somebody's going to blow up. We need 13 people to click this sucker. There we go. There you go. Oh, somebody's there. There you go. Somebody kept clicking off. So awkward. Careful if you're going to blow up. Uh, three people. I'm one of them. Wait, uh, hopefully he doesn't blow it up. We'll just click it fast. All right, we're good. We're good. <laughs> hit the boss, hit the boss, hit the boss. Big DBS.
Yeah, it's not a DPS issue. Middle, 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 middle. Get to the middle. Okay, just go team right. Just go team right. Two, three people blowing up going top. Three people blowing up. Get get those swirlies out of there. Good job. Chisco team middle. Chisco team middle. Spread out in middle so we can see who's got swirlies. Nice. All right, get to the middle. Okay, Chisco team going... Left then. Does team go south? Three people coming. Uh, two people coming in. Somebody's got swirlies. Good job. Good job. Good job. Nice. We need a couple people help bottom. Woo. Okay, go back middle after this. Not yet. Okay, good. Now middle. Now middle. Okay. Damage, big damage. This, I think, I think we end it. End it. Yep. One at the start and then one for each knockdown. GG. There it is. Oh, Looney, yeah, did a lot of damage to those calves. GG, guys, GG, we got it. Good job. I think, you know, as we work on getting our raid team sorted out, it'll probably get easier and easier. But, like, this is the sort of thing where if you have years of experience of raiding in other games, it definitely gives you an advantage. Yeah, it's just like a WoW raid. Holy cow chat, we did it. Yeah, that was the elite raid. That was that was elite difficulty. Alright. Going back to my special little spot over here. I lost all my really good gathering nodes, GG. <laughs> Not that that really matters. All right. Uh, Mana well. We get out these gatherers now. Oh. Hmm. All right, we go here. We go... 
Ooh, level four? Let's go. I'm glad we got it. Um, we'll have to try for the avatar frame next season, though. Okay. There we go, chat. Big GGs. Who's the strongest in our alliance? Uh, I think it's Fat Quail. Oh, it's actually Funky now. No, he's in Blood Moon. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's Fat Quail. Damn, chap. We'll have to work on our coordination to get those wins next time. Should Nico still be primary with Kanara? When not expertise? Yes. Nico should be primary. Big GG's, chat. Yeah, it's not that hard. You just have to pay attention. But the thing is about every boss fight that you've ever done... Like, it always feels super, super easy after you beat it. You know what I mean? I mean, that's not always true, but... It always feels easy when it when you're doing well. All right, let's see here, chat. All right. It's time for me to edit some videos and... Uh, prep for tomorrow. So if you had a good time, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here, consider subscribing. Uh, I'll be back maybe tomorrow to stream. More keys? Next, next bundle? More keys? We'll see. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate y'all. Take care, everybody.